Hello friends. Um, okay, so today, um, actually, I have a question for you. Uh, it's about the way lube on the saddle. Um, so right away, uh, I'll show you on the on the model. So uh, <clears throat> you see uh, these uh, parts here are metered valves and the whoops the previous owner uh, replaced these uh, metered valves with fully opened um, valves and this is no good <clears throat> because um, they have to uh, be um, to let a precise amount of uh, lube through uh, because if they are all fully opened uh, the way lube will uh, go through the least resistance path and some parts of uh, the lubrication might uh, not get um, any or not enough lubrication and other parts may have too much if uh, this is uh, at all possible <clears throat> Uh, also, these uh, parts here are um, not on the original machine. These I modeled myself. Um, they will be probably uh, 3D printed. And they will hold um, the, the, the copper tubing uh, so that it's nice and stiff uh, at the least vibration possible. Uh, this way uh, it won't, you know, vibrate and eventually break. I think it's it's a good idea. I'll try it. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um, also, um, if you do have uh, the answer, if you do know which uh, value goes where, uh, please let me know in the comment. And as soon as... Uh, I know the you know from you or from anywhere else I, I, as soon as I have the answer I'll put it in the description so uh, if you're watching this video and you need this answer look in the in the description you might um, it might be there um, okay uh, so I'll hide the 3d printed parts so that we can see uh, clearly where the, the lubrication goes um, one thing I'd like to say also is that um, I've arranged uh, my lubrication, um, you know, um, according to how I myself find uh, it uh, to be uh, the best way to do it, but it might not be exactly how it was on the machine. Uh, originally so um, just be aware of that uh, when you uh, write your comment if you have the answer just let me know if it's uh, according to my arrangement or according to the original arrangement I still have all of the original uh, uh, copper tubing so I can easily work out how it was uh, before okay so um, for the purpose of uh, making uh, your answer easier, we'll, um, we'll number each of them. So this is the inlet, of course. Uh, so this is uh, going to be the meter, the, the metering valve number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So if we look at the first one, uh, it's uh, lubricating the top uh, rail uh, of the saddle and also the, 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 the back of the top rail of the saddle on the back. This is uh, the, the back and this is the front of the, the machine here. Okay, now the second one is lubricating the back gib of the middle rail. The third one is in plastic and it goes through the saddle here all the way in the back and it's uh, lubricating the ball nut of the y-axis ball screw 
if we look on the machine here uh, and if I highlight the third one from the side you can see that it's um, lubricating the valve nut okay now the fourth one uh, is lubricating the this uh, side of the middle rail fifth one uh, is lubricating the front gib <coughs> of the middle rail this is uh, number six it goes all the way on the back and it's lubricating the the top of uh, the right rail and this is number seven it's lubricating the top of the front uh, the, the front rail of the saddle uh, it's there's lubrication on the top and also on the side of the rail and number eight is lubricating the top of the left rail and number nine uh, is lubricating let's go back to the whole drawing here is lubricating the ball nut of the x-axis uh, ball screw so I'll have a, a plastic uh, tube that goes from here to here I'm thinking maybe of installing a drag chain I don't know there's not much room but I think there is room so uh, we'll see about that and as you can see I've uh, I've uh, progressed quite a lot uh, with uh, my uh, my modeling of the machine um, yeah so uh, that's it uh, that's uh, the question I have for you uh, if you can help me with this uh, that'd be great because uh, yeah I you know I've looked a bit around and couldn't find the, the exact uh, answer so if you know that'd be great so thank you uh, for watching this video and uh, see you on the next one bye